All right, what's going on guys? I'm out here to show you guys how to put all the pieces together. Right here, I have my terrain model kit, and I'm gonna take out the pieces and show you guys how to assemble a terrain model kit. First things first, you wanna look at the map, and do a map recon. You wanna look at the area of operations that you guys are gonna be in, look at the grid, and kind of look at what kind of terrain you have. Here, I can see I have hills, I have a lake, and I have dense vegetation. So when I start my TMK, I always start with the grid lines. That way, I kind of have a canvas to begin making the terrain model. All right, so we grab some 550 cord, take your rope, cut it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna gut the insides, this white stuff. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this white stuff out. So you gut the 550. All right, next we're gonna build the grid points. So on our map, we're gonna do a two by two. All right, here I have some sticks. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig them to the ground. All right, as you can see, I use the sticks as the corners of the grid. If the sticks aren't stick to the ground, I use a knife to cut the sticks so it's a little bit sharper and you can shove them to the ground easier. Next, I'm using the guts of the 550 cord as grid lines. I'm tying them around each stick. I'm not using any fancy knots. I'm doing, I'm just tying it just enough so that it doesn't fall or fly away. Uh, pretty simple and straightforward here. It doesn't have to be perfect squares, but you want to get as close to perfect as possible. Next, you're gonna build the blow up. So this is gonna be basically just one square, really big. We'll go into more detail on this later. Next, you wanna develop the terrain using a shovel or your hands. So I'm using an entrenchment tool here to build the hills and kind of shape the terrain so that it matches the map. Right here, you can see that I just built like a saddle, built it on the hilltop. As you see right here, there's a hill here, hilltop here, here, and then here's a kind of a saddle looking thing. Next, what you wanna do is add some color to this place. I'm using the blue for water. Here you can see there's a lake, and over here there's gonna be like a river. Next, I'm gonna use black for man-made objects. So here there's gonna be a road, and then there's gonna be another road pointing out the other way. If you have time, you can also label this road and label the lake and river. Next, I'm using green leaves as vegetation. So I know it's going to be dense vegetation over here because I looked at the map. So I'm adding all these leaves to represent how dense the vegetation is going to be. Step 7, what you want to do is add your TMK pieces. You kind of place them where you're going to be during the operation. So you can see the enemy is going to be there. You're going to see the assembly area over here. Step 8, you could have done this sooner, but I'm going to label the grid coordinates. So I'm going to label the coordinates in accordance to the map. Over here is 0, 1, 0, 2, and next going to be 0, 3. And then you also want to label the vertical axes as well. Step nine, you want to write as much detail as you can on the TMK pieces. So on the primary route, I'm adding the distance, direction. On the assembly area, I'm adding the grid coordinates. On the objective, I'm labeling the name. On the ORP, I'm going to write the grid location. You want to add as much detail as possible so that everyone can understand what's going on. Next, you want to prepare to brief the TMK with the op order. So the rule of thumb here is to Whatever you say on your op order, just point at it with a stick. There are more details to go over, but because this is for freshmen and sophomores, if you can get to this point, you'll be in a very good spot. In the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to brief a TMK.